mathematics class. Could you please tell me what is the time now? Can you please write down your date of birth now? If you remember, can you please write down your parents' phone number? The time, your birth date and your parents' phone number. All these consist of same thing. What is that? Yes, it is numbers. Today we are going to have a little bit of study about numbers. The interesting factors of human life. When you close the door of your house, just look at the top of the door. There you could see a number. The registered number of your house. When you step into the street, you see a lot of vehicles. All vehicles are numbered. And when you come to the school, teachers call you by raw number. And in the school, you are numbered. Let us begin our first chapter, large numbers. Can you see the board? What is this? Yes, it is an abacus. Let us count the number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. And do you know that in an abacus, a column contains maximum 9 bits. In this abacus, the number represented is yes, 9. If you add 1 to 9, what will you get? You will replace all these numbers in 1's place by 1 bead in 10's place. That means 1's place is complete here and 10's place the number is 1. So, we will get the smallest two digit number 10 if you add 1 to the greatest one digit number 9 and here 1's, 10's and 100's place represents 1's period. If 1's place and 10's place fills with 9 bits then what is the number? Yes, it is 99, the greatest two digit number. If you add 1 to the greatest two digit number 99, what will you get? Yes, you will replace all the beads in 1's and 10's place with 1 bead in 100's place. You can see in this picture, here 1's and 10's place is complete and we replace 100's place with 1 bead. So, we will get 100. If 1's, 10's and 100's place is complete, you will get the number 999. If you add 1 to this number, what will you get? 999 plus 1. Yes, you need one more column in the abacus. So, for that, we will add one more column in the abacus and that will represent thousand spirit. And we will place one bead in thousands place. So, the number is 1000. That is, ones, tens and hundreds place is full and thousands place is having the number 1. Here, ones, tens, hundreds and thousands place is complete. That means, each column is filled with 9 bits. So, what is the number that you will get? Yes, it is 9999, the greatest 4 digit number. If you add 1 to this greatest 4 digit number, what will you get? There also, we need to add one more column just before thousand period. That will represent 10,000. What is that? 10,000. When you add 1 to the greatest 4 digit number, 9999, you will add one more column just before thousands place in the abacus. And you will place one bead there. That means all the numbers in ones, tens, hundreds and thousands place is replaced by one bead in ten thousands place. So the number is ten thousand. How will you read this number? Yes, it is ten thousand. Here ones, tens and hundreds comes under ones period. Thousand and ten thousand comes under 
thousand speed. Let us do some questions. If you add one to ten thousand, what will you get? So you go ten thousand one. So if you add one to ten thousand, what will be the answer? Yes, ten thousand one. Now if you add two to ten thousand, what will you get? So just do that yourself. I hope you got the answer. What is your answer? Yes, ten thousand two. Add ten to ten thousand. What will you get? I hope you got ten thousand ten. Now solve these questions yourself. Now, if all the columns in ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousand is filled with nine bits, then what will be the number? Yes, it is ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. That is nine five times. It is the greatest five-digit number. If you add one to this greatest five digit number what will you get yes let us do here what is 9 plus 1 yes it is 10 9 plus 1 10 again 9 plus 1 10 again 9 plus 1 10 again 9 plus 1 so here you go a five digit number or oh, six digit number. Yes, it is a six digit number. One and five zeros. How will you read this number? All the beats in ones, tens, hundreds, thousands and ten thousand is replaced by one bead in lakhs place. In this backers we had no lakhs place. For that we will add one more column just before 10,000 place in this abacus. So you can write the number 1 0 0 0 0 0. How will you read that number? Yes, it is 1 lakh. 1 and 5 zeros. To read this number, I place comma in this number. You might have noticed that. I place first comma before last three digits that is i place comma just before one period that is just before last three digits now we will place second comma before thousand speed that is before next to two digits so one comma zero zero comma zero 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 so we can easily understand that one represents last period this two zeros represents thousand speed and the last three zeros represents one speed. So we can read the number. Now solve this question yourself. One lakh plus one. Now the next answer. One lakh plus two. Yes. One lakh two. Add ten to one lakh. What will you get? I hope you got the answer. Now. Do this question to yourself. 1 lakh plus 100. 1 lakh plus 505. 1 lakh plus 1000. What are the points that we discussed? Yes. 9 plus 1 equals 10. That is greatest one digit number plus 1. You will get smallest two digit number. If you add 1 to greatest two digit number 99 will you get yes you will get smallest three digit number 100 if you add one to greatest three digit number 999 nine three times you will get 1000 one and three zeros total four digits now greatest four digit number nine four times plus one you will get 10,000 that is smallest five digit number one and four zeros now if you add one to greatest five digit number ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine you will get yes one lakh that is one and five zero so total six digits i hope you understood this concept let us conclude here 
we will see again in the next class thank you